jabronis, I may have done something fucking awesome. Okay, like my company's had really good success for whatever reason. It's it's fucking stupid. My guys have really helped me out. Everything's been wonderful, and <clears throat> I may have been, I may be able to f literally fucking double the size of my company, like with this fucking deal that I might be striking right now. Like I just got off the phone with these people. So here's what happened. Whenever you do construction work like I do, I guess you can like somehow get put into like some sort of databases and shit or something. And people send me bid requests. Like I had one last week for an American Eagle in Denton. And I was like, fuck it, I'll bid it. It's a little fucking lease space. I could, I could send like two guys over there to knock that out in two, three days. It's no big deal. Easy peasy. So I sent them a bid for that and reached out to them and didn't really feel anything good about it. And then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna fuck with any of these fucking random bid requests. I was like, it's gonna take me, it's gonna waste my time me fucking sending out these bids when I got more work done, I know what to do with anyway. So I was like, I'm not gonna ignore that shit. And then later, last night, yesterday at like six o'clock or five o'clock, I saw an email for a bid request from, um, all right, my phone, I keep getting fucking messages. Um, a bid request for this place called Mountain Mike's or uh, Mikey Mountains. Some sort of pizza place, Mountain Mike's or something like that, <clears throat> pizza joint. And I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna bid it. And I was like, well, fuck it. I was like, it's I can bid so fast. I'm just chilling in the shop anyway. I may as well just quit watching fucking bullshit YouTube videos and fucking, you know, um, go ahead and do this bid. And so I put that this job together. It was lit, it's a little pizza joint with an existing fucking grease trap that's already there. So I was like, I, you know, I got him a price for 70k, uh, and I went ahead and set that out last night at like 11:30, midnight or something like that. And um, after I sent it out, I was like, I was looking through the bid forms and I saw the GC for it was a company in Waxahachie. It's where I live. And I was like, hey, what the fuck? Let me check them out. And so I go to their website and I see they do the same type of work I do. They do medical build out. Like, and for like some of the jobs they've done are in buildings I've done build outs in. And like for a lot of the same customers, even like a lot of the same like medical companies they're getting hired out to do these build outs for too. And I was like, Oh fuck, this is what I do, you know? And so I was like, you know what, this is an opportunity. And so I was like, really glad I fucking got that bid out right then last night. And it made me like, I was like, that makes me look professional. Cause I, you know, I mean, I granted I seen it at fucking midnight, but at the same time, it's like, Hey, it was fucking less than 12 hours from when you got it to me that I got you a price. But I called, so I called this fucking company and I asked for the project manager that sent me the bid and I get him on the phone and I was like, hey man, I'm, you know, Brass House from Dyson Plumbing. Um, you know, I, I got a bid request from you guys yesterday for this pizza joint in Waxahachie. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, we sent that out yesterday to a lot of people. I was like, well, I got you a price last night. And um, he was like, that was fast. I was like, oh yeah, I can, I, I bid pretty quick. I was like, but I felt like I would be remiss if I didn't reach out to you. Cause once I, you know, saw that bid request and got that done, I checked y'all out and saw that y'all do medical build out stuff. And I mentioned the customers that he, <clears throat> he does. And I kind of told him some of the jobs I do. And I was like, look, I, this is, you know, I'm really kind of like a s specialist in this space. You know, I'm really good. You know, I was like, I can coordinate really well with your tenants. And I was like, heck, it looks like a lot of the buildings you're doing projects in. Like, I already have contacts with the building engineers. And I was like, this is kind of my space. Like, I was like, I'd really love to bid some more of your work. You know, I was like, I'm happy to do that Mountain Mike's thing. But like, I'd really like to bid some of your medical stuff because I feel like I'll be a good partner for you. I think like you'll really enjoy working with us. And um, then the guy starts kind of talking to me about, you know, some of my other projects. And he's like, well, what contractors do you work for? Which always makes me weary. But I was like, well, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell him. And so I told him like two of my big ones that I do. And like the, the big, big one, that's like my main biggest customer. He was like, he starts like laughing. I'm like, what? And he was like, he was like, he says the guy's name, the owner. I was like, oh shit, you know him? He was like, he was like, yeah. He was like, so the owner of this company used to be that guy's right hand man like they started that business together and they kind of had a falling out and the guy you work for started went off on his own and this guy went off on his own and now it's this company and i was like holy crap he was like yeah but he's like we're actually bigger than the other guy we actually do more you know more square footage a year than they do and i was like oh shit i was like and i was like well i was like you know i was like i've been working with them for almost a year now and you know, we've, we've, we've done a ton of projects. You know, I don't know if y'all have a good enough relationship or you, I, I don't know if I want you to call and get a reference on me. I was like, but you know, this is the type of work I do. And I think we'd be a great fit. And he was like, yeah, man, I'm actually really excited about it. We've been trying to find like someone that we can get as like a rock steady that we just, you know, knows how we do things and gets things done. And <clears throat> he's like, and if you can work for that guy and make him happy, you've got to be a badass. I was like, oh yeah, dude. 
And so, motherfucker sent me like six bids right out the gate. Like six big ones. And then he was like, look, he was like, we're looking at doing, you know, he's like, we're looking at doing about 50, 60 million in medical build out from here till the end of the year. So like, I'm probably, you know, if they're doing 50 to 60 million, it's probably going to be like eight to 10% of that is going to be plumbing. You know what I mean? So like, they're, they're probably going to be buying, you know, spending 4 million to 5 million potentially on plumbing for the rest of the year. And I don't know if I hook this one. It's fucking big. It's fucking big. Like, guys, mind you, like, I'm fucking... Look at this. Look where I'm at. Like, <clears throat> I mean, I'm gonna have to, like, but if I can get that, I'm gonna have to go extreme on the hiring, and I'm gonna have to get my, like, top guys to go more into, like, real kind of field supervisor, superintendent, kind of like, hey, you know, Randall, you handle these two or three jobs. Chad, you handle these two or three jobs you know, and kind of shit like that and like spread my top guys out to like manage multiple jobs because it's getting fucking insane. It's getting insane. Like if I can get this type of work, I mean, I'm going to be looking at bringing in about 500K to 600K a month. Like it's probably, this may not happen. It may not happen. But like this was a really good talk I just had with this guy and he instantly sent me a bunch of work. And he was like, once he found out that, that I was, you know, that I'm deep in this work, he was really interested. And uh, he talked to me about, he was like, hey, I'd like to set up something for you to like, you know, maybe me, you and the owner of the company to go to lunch and kind of talk about this stuff. And I was like, hey, let me buy it. Let me take y'all to a steakhouse. Like, let me fucking wine and dine y'all. <clears throat> I was like, I'll kind of, you know, I'll bring all my information and, you know, stuff like that. Let y'all get acquainted with me. But I really think this would be a fruitful relationship for both of us. And, um, it just, it's, it's one of those times where I feel like, you know, something pulled me to try to make this deal and I think it's really going to work. Guys, I didn't notice that. You can really see the scar on my eye with this light. Y'all know I got fucking stabbed in the eyeball when I was fucking 16. I got fucking jumped. I tried to fight fucking, try to fight a guy, seven dudes jumped me. And that, you know what got him fucking put in my eye? Believe it or not, it was a fucking stun gun. Not like a taser the cops shoot, but like the handheld one. The motherfucker went to get me in the face and stab my fucking eyeball with it. And so... I know this isn't what this video is about, but like what happened there is it, it didn't tear or cut. It actually punctured it. Like it fucking punctured it. And they were saying they couldn't stitch it up. And so I had to have like an eye patch for like a month with like super glue on this shit. So I've had my ass whoop boys. Not by plumbing though. <clears throat>